YouTube. Um, this is just going to be a video about, you know, high school and your senior year because there's a lot of videos about freshman year, what to expect, but my senior year, it was the hardest year I've had my whole high school career, so I'm going to talk about that because I know people are like, oh, I have to apply to my school, I don't know what school I want to go to, I don't know what I want to major in, so I'm just going to talk about that because I know how hard it is. So, um, first I'm going to talk about, like, you know, trying to find, you know, where you want to go to college. Um, you might want to go, oh, hey, you know, everyone's going to this one school. I want to go there, too, because I want to have all my friends. But the thing is, when you do go to a school with all your friends, you might, I don't know, you might not have classes with them. You might not see them that often because they might be doing other things. So, you kind of want to look at the campus as a whole. Like, what do you like about the school? You, won't, you really want to visit these schools because you don't know... When you get there, you might not like it, and it might not be what you expected. So, definitely look at the school. Take as many tours as you can. Try, maybe even get a sh like you know get a shadow or something. Follow a student around for a day and see how you like it. Um, especially if you're gonna live on campus, because you're gonna be there the whole time. Like maybe about ninety percent of the time you're in school. So definitely. This is the campus. Make sure you look at the dorms. And if you don't work the dorms, I guess you can always get an apartment, but it really is expensive. So. And then, you know, you really want to get all your stuff together, like what classes you took, what extracurricular activities did you do. Like, were you president of student council or something? You definitely want to write that stuff down. You really want to get started on your application as soon as possible. And you really want to work hard your senior year. Because I definitely did, because we had exemptions. As long as you went to school almost like every day, you can only miss three days a semester. And you had all A's, you can exempt all your exams. Or if you had an A in the class, you can exempt that. So I worked really hard. And I ended up going from like top 12, top 11% to top 10% by the end of the year. So that's really good. So definitely work really hard. Do not slack off because you think, oh, okay, a college accepted me or the college isn't expecting that much from me or something like that. Because they really are. They're looking at it. Even though you think you're at the end, they will still retract that, that admission or whatever. So definitely make sure you work as hard as you can because you don't want to slack off and think, oh, I was so close. And Another thing is, don't think the school's too far out of your league because, you know, you don't have the grades. But they do look at more than just grades, trust me. It's not just grades. Grades can get you scholarship, but also sports can get you scholarships. Um, any activities you're in can get you scholarships. So don't just think, oh, I didn't do so well in this one class. Just trust me, sophomore year, I did not do the best I could. I did get, like, one or two Cs, so definitely I did not do that good. But, um... Yeah, definitely work hard your senior year because senior year, especially just the first semester, can definitely change everything. It did change a lot for me, so definitely take that into consideration. And I know, especially after Christmas, admissions letters are definitely going to be rolling in, and I was nervous until maybe, um, it's like a couple, like two or three months ago that I found out I got declined for my first choice school like I didn't get in but I did get into another school and I did get a scholarship to that school so that's good if I was stuck with another school without anything I guess I'd be kind of more upset but it was my first choice I love that school so much I visited the campus I bought t-shirts I know it's kind of stupid but I got into that school and it just really sucks that you don't get in when you really try hard and you try you try hard, like, even all four years, but you can't get discouraged because you can always try again, you know, the next year. You can try when you're a freshman and you finally get into classes and you finally see what college is like. It'll probably be a lot easier than just going from, like, going to, like, some school out there and you don't even know much. Of, I mean, you know much about it, but you don't know how the classes work and you're just putting way too much stuff out there, especially if you're moving away and you don't know, like, what am I going to do? I don't know. Like, what if I do really bad in a class and I don't have my parents there to help me or something like that? You really kind of want to think before you choose and, like, really think before you choose because you don't want to end up being somewhere you really, really hate and you don't want to be somewhere where you're going to be uncomfortable. 
go like that's why you visit as many campuses as you can you apply everywhere you can and, and you just try and find a school that really fits you who knows that second choice school or third choice fifth whatever might be the right match for you instead of your first choice but again you can always try again there's nothing wrong with trying so yeah um so yeah that's pretty much all the tips i have for like seniors just don't slack off because i know i wanted especially near the end of the year i got senioritis and i was like oh i'll just do that project you know three days before it's due i don't care and it really kind of brings your grade down and you don't even care about things so make sure you really care and you try as much as you can talk to teachers to try and get your grades up you know see what you can do talk to counselors about colleges and get as much information because you don't want to make the wrong choice be stuck with it for a whole year and be wishing oh i wish i applied here people are having so much fun and you're gonna meet a lot of new people i mean i haven't started college yet but i know i'm gonna meet a lot of new people so yeah I'm nervous but excited too so i hope this this really helped you seniors so Class of 2011, good luck, or if you're watching this a year from now, 2012, 2013, whatever, good luck, so thanks for watching.